Seven year old man is in serious condition following what police are calling a case of attempted murder. It reportedly started as a domestic argument. The incident occurred at Wong's village in Kahalu'u, and that's where KITV 4's Jefferson Tyler is now standing by live. Jefferson, are the police still out there? No, uh, actually, the police tape is cleaned up right now, but every once in a while, a police cruiser does stop by and check on things. Now, this scene may be cleared up, but it still remains on the minds of many in this peaceful and close-knit community. The shattered glass of this broken windshield mirrors the shattered piece of Wong's village. Honolulu police say that a domestic argument ballooned into something more, and neighbors saw it happen with their own eyes, a woman hitting a man with her car. They just don't want to talk about it on camera. She slammed right into him, like, and he flew up in the air, and he hit her windshield, and he fell on the ground. And his arm, I think it was dislocated. A different neighbor tells KITV4 that he believes it was a girlfriend hitting her boyfriend. Police won't confirm that, but do admit that an argument happened. A neighbor on their way to work says the violence seemed to come out of nowhere. I seen a man standing on the side against the fence. I seen her car. Um, I, I didn't even know her name. I seen her reverse out of their driveway. She started heading towards us, which is he was right in front of my car. Honolulu police put out a notice that this was an attempted murder case. The section of Wong's village where it happened was roped off for more than six hours as they investigated. Neighbors remained traumatized by the incident. She drove off and he just kept screaming, asking if I saw her. And I told him, yeah, and that I was sorry because I was shaken up. I didn't know what to say. So I was scared because I thought she was going to hit me. Police do have not released any information on the suspect or even if she's in custody, but we will keep you up to date on the latest information as we receive it. Jefferson Tyler, KITV4 Island News.